Because I'm hiding the car from you. I've bought a drift car. No, you haven't. No, I have bought a drift car. No, you haven't. <laughs> Do you not believe me? No, because you're just showing that video of the Polo. So the po no, they've still got the Polo. So this morning, I dropped the Polo 9M3 GTI off at ADS. Here's the clips from this morning to get a software upgrade. Welcome to today's video. Before we meet Gaz in the garage, ADS in Preston, who do like Volkswagen and Audi remaps and stuff. They're an Audi specialist. I've had RS3s remapped in the past by these guys, and they've always done a sick job. Cars have always drove mega after it. And basically the Polo 9M3 GTI is getting some software upgrades today. So at the moment, it's got like a negative time and remap on it. So it's bangs and pops a lot, like overrun. But for me, I think it's a bit much. So I'm hoping to quieten it down a tiny bit and make it sound that little bit more like high end 1820 valve. So it's gonna be interesting what it drives like, what it sounds like, but we've come for the software upgrade before the next track mod start. So stay tuned. I'll be picking this back up in the next couple of days where it's gonna be, I reckon it'll be pretty awesome to be honest, to, to hear the car and to see the car driving different than the original map that I've been on it. It'll be sick to try it in a different software. Welcome back. I've bought a drift car. No doubt. I've bought a drift car. Pull it in then. Let's do it. That's why the gates are still open. That's, That's why it's... the, the drive's not getting jet <laughs> Are you ready? No. You're not ready for it, are you? The drift car. I've been busy, you know. I'm always busy. You stay here. See you shortly. <laughs> the drift car! Nah, that's it. That's so cool. Did you get that? Last night. Last night. Clean, isn't it? Yeah. Cool colour, isn't it? It's pretty mad. What is it? Purple or blue? Like, saw both. Before we go any further in today's video and talk about the MX-5, what inspired me to buy it, take it out for a spin, definitely in today's video. Before we get into it, I wanted to say, don't forget, on owner right now, you get a free snapback cap with every single order that you place. If you're getting one of our new washed green tees, or a hoodie, or a wallet, or a sticker pack, or whatever, make sure you add your favourite snapback cap on the site to your order, and you'll get it for free. It's that simple. Free snapback, every single order. Link is in the description. Now, I've been looking at MX-5s. In America, they're called Miatas. In Europe, I think they're called Unos. I don't know, I could be wrong actually. I think they are, I'm sure I'm gonna learn all of this. I've been looking at them for well over a month. I've been researching them. I've been looking at different marks that you can get, one, two, three, and four. I've been looking at all the model numbers, NA, MB, MB facelift, NC. What's the new one? I don't know. Um, there's so many different cars with so many different options. I also really, really wanted to play around in something rear wheel drive, like you have no idea. If you follow me on IG, you'll know full well that I've been posting pictures a lot of these little things, so many cars. But I decided to come in at an entry level on, on the channel and stuff, I decided, do you know what, rather than going out and swapping the Golf 7R for something like an S15 or a 370Z or a 350Z or a 200SX, whatever, a BMW M3, something rear wheel drive and getting into it. I thought, you know what, I'll keep the 7R, I'll keep the Polo GTI and I'll buy something more affordable in my budget. Come in at the bottom end with the least power as I can rear wheel drive and just enjoy it. Basically, I went and bought this one. It's a very, very, very clean example. It's had a little bit of rust work done at the back end of the sills. It's been welded at the bottom. We'll show you that shortly. But generally, it's a very clean version of the Mark 2.5. That's what this is. So you have a Mark 1. They have pop-up headlights. You'll have seen them around and about. I can tell. I'm just so hype, man, on the MX-5 hype. Yeah. You have no idea. I'm like an MX-5 fan overnight. Dixie looks a fan as well. Come on a little look, Dixie. There you come, then. Um, so, I went on Auto Trader. 
I put the year up to 2005, which is the 2.5. Then you have before that a, two, a Mark II and before that a Mark I. And there was only 80 cars. 80 cars in the whole of England on Auto Trader in a Mazda Mark I, II and 2.5. I've got the Nevada, which is the 1.8 litre engine one, which means you can tune the hell out of it. It's got 146 brake horsepower all round. And I've got a 500 quid hard top roof with it. That is so nice, that roof. Do you like the roof? See, I'm torn. It is, it is sick. You've not taken it off yet, have you? No, not once. I don't know what we're going to be expecting. We're going to take it off for this video, definitely. Yeah, I should, I should hope so. So what we've got, we've got standard MX-5. Um, what size are these? 16s? Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. 205, 45, 16. 205, 45, ah! 16s, which is funny. Which that's is the weird because you need some of those tyres. That's the tyre I need for the Polo GTI to do a track day at the end of this week, which is cool. So I might borrow the tyres off that for a day. Now, up front, we've got more yellowed headlights. <laughs> yes. If you guys watched the last video, we smashed that, didn't we? I'm, sh I'm sure we'll uh, see to those one day. Number plate holder, which is coming straight off. And I'm going to get one of the little square plates for here. Yep. I'm going to debadge it, potentially. Hey! I'm going to debadge it, potentially. New front bumper in the end, but we'll just talk about what we've got right now, rather than what we're going to what we're going to do. Um, I'll show you the engine. <laughs> this is my first rear wheel drive car I've ever had. Ever? Ever. Crazy. I've never had another rear wheel drive no, car. Not, have you? I've never had a drift car. I've never had a rear wheel drive car. And I'm going to be honest with you. Straight up. This is straight up me being honest. Yesterday on the way home, we were out of set of lights. I had no idea they slide the way they do. And I yeah. think you'll be shocked. Right. So I'm at the light. One, 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 one. Let the clutch out. And it went. And I was sold. Yeah. Immediately sold. I was like, this is amazing. Now, as you can see, the engine bay. We've got a 1.8, 16 valve, 146 brake horsepower, Nevada engine. Sick that, isn't it? Yeah. It's so nice much, and spacey, isn't yeah, it? So much space. You can pretty much get in there. Yeah. A lot of space, isn't there? We've got a lot of mods. We've got many, many of mods to do to this car. Needs an air filter. Needs an air filter. That's a standard box. We need a filter. We need a turbo. <laughs> Apparently people can turbo with them, you know. Yeah. We looked at the kits the other day, didn't we? And they were like... Yeah, we did. Being sort of going on about them a lot, the MX-5s. I was torn between an MX-5 and a Clio 197 for track use. And I am so, so glad that I've gone rear wheel drive because I feel like now I'd be lying if I said I'm sort of only interested in rear wheel drive after one drive in this thing. Is that bad? Probably, yeah. It is bad, isn't it? Yeah. And like the Golf R is four wheel drive and it's 400 brake and I absolutely love it. So it's a savage daily. And then the Polo is the, the front wheel drive track car. The front wheel drive track car, which is cool, yeah, but you wouldn't believe, car. you wouldn't believe how fun this car is. You won't believe it. You won't believe it till you drive it. You fully comp? Yeah. You can drive it. Ooh, ooh. You're going to lose your mind, you know? Yeah. So, that's the 180 in there. No mods at all. Completely standard as far as I can see. Yep, looks it. As far as I can see, completely and utterly standard. We've mm. got... Should we clip the hard top off? Or should we show up? Look at this. You're gonna laugh at this. You went to do this before, didn't you? Oh, is this the um, It's the boot. The boot space. That's mad that you gotta go in there to get You haven't you gotta use the key. Because there's no handle, look. So there's no yeah, handle. That's what I was feeling for. Yeah, there's no handle. You either use the key yeah. and it pops up. It's Jap man, that's what Jap cars are like. Don't get all this Volkswagen Audi stuff. So that's the boot. <laughs> Apparently this is like a cover that I got. Oh, right, nice. And then this is a cover to make the roof look nice when it's down. So when the roof's down... Oh, so uh, what? When this one's on, but this one's in... Because this one's still in here. Yeah, yeah. The soft top, which you showed me. I didn't even notice. It's mad, isn't it? The box are like a few little bits here. So we've got the standard petrol cap. Oh, what happened with it? Oh, well, that. this one's got like an aftermarket one, but it's quite corroded. So yeah, maybe yeah. the first mod we could do is put the standard petrol cap back on. 
Yeah? Yeah, that one kind of looks a bit like Chophead, doesn't it? Does a bit. Chophead, you ever heard Chophead? Chophead, yeah, you say it all the time. And what we got here, oh, that's another version. Oh, we could, so we've got all the choices. Oh, so we can go Freshy. from chrome to chrome, or chrome to the bloody purple. Hey, but I'll tell you what, so last night, yeah, we went and bought this, me and the miso. We went to Tesco's, yeah, yeah. put all the shopping in it, full. <laughs> That's a lie stuff down and then 180 did out of the car park. <laughs> <laughs> and when we got home, it was all like, yeah. so good. For the boot of mine. Woohoo! Well, I said it in the last video and I still stand yeah, you by. Can't, you can't take it off on your own. No, I'm just having a look, see how loose it actually is. I can't wait to see it with no roof on it, you know. You ready? Let's just forget the trash for a sec. Can you see me like this? Yeah, yeah. I've got a question to every single one of you. Do we go soft top or hard top? What do we do? It's all heavy enough though, isn't it? Not very. But yeah. Oh my god. Look at the MX5 with no roof on it. And know this is the that's, yeah. this, that's the that's the other roof, yeah. And the soft top kind of goes off me, you know. Hey. Do you know? Like, I feel like it takes a proper gangster to pull the soft top off. Nah, I don't like it. I think the colour's weird. There you go. There you go. Sick. So, I've not actually sat in my drift car without the roof above it. I'm excited. Oh my god, it's sick. Quite cool, aren't they? It is cool, isn't it? It is cool, isn't it? And it's got like these crazy tombstone seats. So we can show them the interior a bit now. So yeah, it's like a lot lighter now. Yeah. Well, let me show them the roof, the first, this bit. So basically the hard top roof, you kind of leave the soft top inside it and to have a hard top. Now you can buy new soft top roofs, which is, I think I'm swaying towards that idea in like a leather colour or something. I reckon it'd be pretty sick. I do quite like the soft tops and I've always got the hard top, but I don't know where I'd store it because it's absolutely massive. Basically, the soft top goes up pretty easy. Pretty much just like that. It's like a grey colour. It's not in the worst condition, but it's not in the best condition either. Kind of sick though. Yeah, like bits of moss and that around it, but Nothing that can't be cleaned. Nothing that can't be cleaned, and I think you fold this to get it down properly. Yeah. So easy. So easy. And we're going to start with this little thing. This is like a weird cover, but I think this comes up, you know, but I'm not sure. No, this is absolutely oh, no, it zip tied on. So this thing's just like a little wind barrier. I think it apparently works quite well. Um, you got these little silver bars. I'm guessing these stop you breaking your neck if you flip the car. I would imagine so. Is that what you're they're for? Yeah. They're just for show. But I'm thinking of making these like a different colour. Yeah. I reckon the chrome is a bit crusty. Do you? A little bit. Tombstone seats are absolutely sick. Yeah, they are nice. They're cool, aren't they? I do have a feeling, however, I'm going to end up with bucket seats. Yeah. <laughs> so, yesterday, I put fuel in it last night, 180'd it into the petrol station. And I was wondering where the fuel cap was. It's inside this little glove box compartment in here, which is kind of cool. Also, you have a lock on the back of it, so it locks you. Do that, lock it, and you can't open this, which I think is quite cool. Well, have you got, like, your favourite CD in there? But it makes sense, because if it's convertible and you leave your roof down, oh, someone yeah. could just pop their hand in, couldn't they? True, for then just got Makes it a bit of a night, a bit of a nightmare. Yeah, yeah. Um, one of the coolest things, I reckon, is you're chilling, you've got your gear stick, you've got your handbrake here, which I think are quite cool. I want a big shifter and I want a big handbrake. Big handbrake. Hydraulic handbrake. Hydraulic handbrake on a lever. Also, we've got two window buttons here, which I think is quite cool. Yeah. So the window's in the centre. It's got heated leather. Nah. And it's sick. Heated leather. Yeah. I love these little vents as well. Check that out. Rated out of 10, lad. 10. Good, aren't they? And um, I've not even been out on it You've yet. Not, it's, not, it's not that you haven't been out on it yet. You haven't, you haven't skidded it. <laughs> it's when you skid it. It's I'll a witness to skid even. It is an entry level skid car. Now, this is one of the coolest things, I think. It's got an oil level gauge on the dash. That's sick. That is sick. That is sick, isn't it? So you've got fuel, empty, full. You've got miles per hour. No, rev. 
revs, you've got low and high fuel level. Is that, no, that's, is that oil, that's oil temp. Is no, it? it's not oil temp because look, you have cold and hot on the water. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And then you have oil level. It must be level because otherwise it'd be cold and hot. Yeah, yeah, true. But I'm sure someone else can let me know that. But I, I don't believe that they do cold and hot and then yeah, low yeah. and high. No, I, I know what you mean now. Yeah. So you reckon it is oil level? Probably, yeah. And it's sat the same. Like as soon as you I, turn it on, it's. Yeah, yeah. Even when it's cold. What do you think of the MX5, Quattro? What do you think of the new skid car? It's amazing. It's very basic. Which is good. In a good way. Yeah, yeah. Like, say you went and bought like a brand new, like, say you went and bought like a brand new, like, one litre Vauxhall Corsa. They're yeah. very basic. Mm. But I feel like this is basic in a proper steezy way. Yeah, yeah. Like, a, it's going to do what you need it to do, kind of way. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah. And then look, you can feel all the little dials. Try the little dials, love. They're so cool. Yeah, it's probably that like old school clicky. In it, it feels old school already, doesn't it? Yeah. We're in, no. We're in the full convertible drift car. It feels quite fresh, doesn't it? No, it's nice. Quite overwhelming. You think? Like a bit airy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is a bit airy. Like, kind of wish I had the hoodie on. Nah, it is fresh, isn't it? Just put the roof up. Put the roof up, yeah, whilst we're driving. Yeah. Right, so, basically, the drift car. Feel this. <laughs> That's bonkers. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. It's good, isn't it? That's like quite a grippy floor surface as well. Yeah, it, it has just been raining, but... Yeah, but it is grippy though, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Like if you look at the road surface, it's like... Rate you? 10. Easiest 10 of my life. Good, isn't it? Yeah. Big good, man. Like, I got it yesterday and I was like, what the actual hell when I tried it? Oh! Gangster! Did you see that? <laughs> so sick. <laughs> so sick. <laughs> It's good, isn't it? It's so mad. That shouldn't be a thing. <laughs> it is dangerous how fun one of these things is. Yeah. Like, would it spin up in second on here? Yeah. Tiny bit. A little bit. Kind of dry now, to be fair. Kicked out. But, like, basically, it's such a clean car for the age, 54,000 miles. Mental. Absolute gleamer. The condition's amazing, drives amazing. It's the 1.8, 146 brake horsepower. No mods at all, and that is how fun it can be. It's crazy. It yeah. Like if it started throwing it down oh, right, right now. Yeah, and you didn't, you didn't have the top on. Yeah. Maybe we should do like a roof up clip. Why not? See how hard it is. Yeah, yeah, as we sat here. <laughs> what a car. Oh, I think you have to drop the windows maybe. There you oh, go. Yeah. There it is, we've got a roof. What are your thoughts? It's just second it. The roof is up. <laughs> just leaving. That's so getting awesome. up to speed. Sick, isn't it? Yeah. It's quite a gangster car. Like, I've always seen people in MX-5s. And I've never thought to myself. He He's living the dream. I've yeah, always just kind of thought, I've always just kind of thought, oh, an MX-5, you've never caught me eye. What are your thoughts, lad? It's good. What are your thoughts it on the MX-5? Feels like a proper driver's car. Does, doesn't it? Yeah. Doesn't it? That's yeah. my thoughts as well, you know. Feels like a driver's car. Yeah. Like, you feel like... You're out having a session. Yeah, you've got to be 
on it kind of thing because we could do something to the golf for the end of this video Oh my god, everyone's beefing. Oh, the rear wheel drive machine! The RWD! Fellow rear wheel drive driver there. In a beam. Rad's on. Radiator's on. We've got a smoothie today. We've had another smoothie as well. We've had spinach, a pear, an apple, a banana, coconut water. And now we're on strawberry and banana hype. I'm sorting my freshness out. Nice. Too many Mackies recently. Yeah. Too many Mackies. We'll have a Mackies Saturday. Every Saturday. Otherwise it wouldn't be a Mackie Saturday. Oh, well, otherwise it wouldn't be a Saty Mackies. That's what we call it, wouldn't we? Yeah, yeah. Mackie, is it a Mackie Saturday or Saty Mackies? Saty Mackies, Mackie Saturday. Don't know. Um, but, long and short of the whole situation is, I'm only, I'm only going to have one a week. And then them other days I'm going to have a smoothie instead. So, we're back in the garage. Hey! It'd be rude not to get the machine polisher out, wouldn't it? Yeah, what but should we get it out on? I reckon we should pull... No, do you know what? I don't reckon it's ready oh. for it yet. I reckon we should pull this out. Yeah. I reckon we should pull the Mark 7R in. And I reckon we should like mess about with it some way, shape or form. Maybe we should... Yeah, because you've been busy on it. Been busy on it. I washed it all. I'll show you what I've done. I'll show you how clean it is. And we'll see you back here in a second. So, welcome to the next segment of today's video. It's been a very up and down type of car video, but that's kind of, kind of where we're at at the moment, isn't it, Gazza? Yeah. We're sort of just blitzing through stuff. We're living the dream. We sort of start each video every day and we sort of go, what do we just feel like doing? Isn't it? Which is the best way of living life. It is the best way of living, you are right. Like, there's things that I think to myself, oh, I should do this for a video, but I'm kind of just following the dream at the minute, which is sick. I'm enjoying it, innit? Yeah. Sick. So what are we doing, lad? Where we are? Trying to get these scratches out that the Frenchies have absolutely mould in the uh, <laughs> mid-boot step. So the Frenchies every day jump up on the back of this, and maybe I'll look into getting like a little carbon additional strip for here. I actually had one on the transporter, if you guys remember. As you can see, it is absolutely mould on here. Pure and utter disgraceful. Look at that. Oh my god. It just shows the condition of it in comparison to the rest of the car. The rest of the car has not got a mark on it. It's a pretty clean car, if I'm being dead honest, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. You, you have spent a lot of time like decontaminating it and everything yeah. before this as well, so... Yeah. yeah. We, we're going to machine polish it every video. All right. Yeah, this is the new four-way switch. <laughs> <laughs> what do they do, by the way? Basically, if any of you just missed it, look at all the, all the dog food and stuff. My missus is absolutely dog mad. Before I was dog mad, my missus is dog mad. Basically, as you can see here, this one knocks the left one off, the next one knocks the right one off, the next one drops that one off. It's so funny how that stopped them battering her. <laughs> right, so, anyways, take it away, lad. Sound. 102. 102 what? That's what it's called. 105. 105. Unbelievable. Jeez, look at that now. That is twice the boot lip. Yeah. Come up quite good, hasn't it? Yeah, it's come up sick. Check that out, it's like glass, man. Hello? Ah. I'd have thought they were going to be a lot more deeper than that. Basically, really quickly, just for something to do, we're going to see how good this colour can come out. Basically, what we're thinking of doing is Cleaning the boot down, this big solid square panel on the back. It's sort of like a rear bonnet. Could you just explain what, well, explain what the boot is? But basically, I'm sort of trying to explain that it's more like a bonnet than a boot, isn't it? It is a bit, isn't it? Because how flat it is. It's so flat, it's so long and it's so big. This car's an awesome colour. It's like a purple colour. It's a pretty cool colour to have as your first drift car. And basically, um, we're going to clean it down. 
in, indoors, so it's not going to be like a proper wash, but we're going to get it fully grit free and then we're going to clay bar it and then we're going to machine polish it and we're going to see what colour it comes out like and show you in comparison what the rest of the car is going to look like when we spend time doing it, innit? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, let's go. Colour's actually sick, innit? Yeah. What are you using, lad? Quick detailer there. Quick detailer. Just to get the heavy off. Yeah, I was going to drench it a bit just so it's not like... Any grit left over. Yeah. Probably I mean, shouldn't do that. The, I've got a clay, I've got a rag with clay on it. That'll pretty much get rid of the heavy though, won't it? Yeah. To be fair, running this over it doesn't feel gritty yeah, the ladies, or I think dirty. the lady's washed it anyway. Yeah. You know who sold me. You've like kind of took that to the next panel as well, haven't you? Yeah, just in case the um, machine polish the pad it. goes over a bit, yeah. No way. So basically, as you can see on here, it's kind of like little hazy light scratches all over the whole car. But we've struggled to find a big scratch, haven't we? Yeah. There's pretty much not a big scratch on the car. But if you look at that, there is scratches and that on it, but. Like very light as you can see like here there's a lot of swirl marks pretty much the whole car is swirled to the like the whole car is pretty much swirled to the nines as you can see all the way if you keep your eye on this square light you can kind of see round that all over the whole car and what we're hoping for today is just to see how clean this panel can actually come out and then once we've got that on the works we're going to do wheels coilovers Wide arches, bumpers, front bumper, bucket seats, steering wheels, engine mods gonna be. You're doing a steering wheel? Yeah, yeah, full on. Oh, I didn't think you'd do that because you don't like steering wheels. So, sort of just doing a little bit of a quick pass with the clay bar. Getting any contamination because I don't want to like pull all the grit into, into it with the machine polisher. You're going to machine polish it though, aren't you guys? Do half and half if you want. That'll be pretty sick. That'll be pretty sick. I'm excited to see what colour this comes out. Yeah, I think this is going to be nice. Do you? Yeah. yeah. Like a very purpley blue, isn't it? Yeah. I just hope we don't like... Make the rest of the car look a show. No, I just hope we don't like do it and then be like, now the old car needs to look like that. <laughs> we'll spend about four weeks doing it. <laughs> Oh, we just both don't eat, we just have smoothies for four weeks, don't, <laughs> don't go out of the garage anywhere. So how's that look underneath there, lad? Very brown. Very brown. Not sure whether you can see yeah, that. Yeah, there, there you, go. you go. Brown as. Not the worst! It's not that bad, I've seen it a lot worse, like on my own cars. Yeah, it looks like it's been regularly washed, I'll say that much. Yeah. I mean, really what we should do... Right now, we should use iron out, and we should use obliterate, but you're supposed to use them before the clay. Yeah, so that's just going to pick up everything anyway, that. Yeah, I was thinking that. Sort of already ran it across, and we're only doing like a bit of a... A trial. Yeah, we're already having a little play, aren't we? Yeah. All the way down here, as you can see, pretty much the whole car is like this. Now... We put a piece of tape across the centre and we're going to leave one side standard like this and we're going to do a comparison like this and bring it over into like smooth paint in a second. It's going to be sick. What are you using, lad? Just a one step. One step compound. I've never used this, but yeah, you... Pretty sick. You rate it, you say? Yeah, I just did like, I watched DIY, um, like how to uh, machine polish and stuff and a lot of people said it's easier to learn with a one step compound. Yeah, to start sense. with. So it's S20 black, it's pretty sick. And I've, I've had it on that pad before, haven't I? Yeah. Starting with the three piece. Yeah. So the product's on. Yeah, it out. Sick, isn't it?
crazy. So much duller. Yeah, you can tell where the line was. Yeah, you actually can, can't you? Shall you that now? Yeah, I'll work that as well. Fuel it a lot less hazy, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lot clearer that. There's a bit more depth in the paint than that. Few, a few a little deeper ones in there that we're going to get out with another pass now. Oh, holy cow! Got V34 chemical guys. This is for 1500 to 2000 sandpaper, swirl and scratches. So, don't overdo it, lad. One, two, three. Is that right? Yep, sound. Is that quite a lot still? I thought it'd be alright. So we've got 34, this is a starting. Can you turn it down? I'm just gonna spread the product out. A few different spots. On one. Be interesting to try this now. Comparison. <laughs> That's come up pretty sick, isn't it? Yeah. I've actually got an even deeper cutting compound than that one, you know. Oh yeah, you got that 105. Yeah, I got 105. I could try it if you want. Something to do, isn't it? Yeah. Something to get like the difference in that is yeah. crazy. Okay, so I'm not sure how much of it you can see. Basically, we've we've done a 105 Maguire's cut on this panel here. Basically, there's pretty much nothing on that side now. Does it look like glass in that? Oh my gosh, you can actually see the difference. Pull it away a bit. Yeah, so like... You can still see haziness there on that side. But on this side, it's just absolutely clear. Clean as. Now we're going to use Chemical Guys Optical Grade Final Polish V38. See how it performs. Basically, I'm excited to see this thing with an actual finishing layer on it. We've got a medium light pad as well, which should finish up nicely so let's see it's probably quite a big area to work on though isn't it a full one side of a bonnet or a boot or a boot Each product that nice looks yeah. amazing. Basically, we have got a six inch back and plate over there, so I know that it's a six inch back and plate and a five inch back and plate right now with a six inch pad on it. I do need to just swap the back and plate, but we're only having like a quick play on it, pretty yeah. much. We're not really trying to get the best results we've ever had. We're just kind of seeing how good the paint is beneath all the surface scratches. So we should have a better idea of that right now when we wipe it down. Quite surprised how that's made such a difference, to be honest. Wow. Like old school paint, innit? Yeah. Madness. Madness. So what we're going to do, we're going to smash the other side and then we'll come back when it's done and show you what the actual back end of the car looks like or can look like. So as you can see we've done a bit of a bead test on this just seeing how it was actually taking water whether it's really hydrophobic or not. We actually used two waxes. We used on this side what Gaz did was um, auto finesse's, what is it called again? Fusion I think. Fusion. Yeah. Hybrid car box. So we did that on that side and then we used Ultra HD on this side, which is pretty sick. And basically, they're, all, they're both of a similar standard. This one actually was beading a tiny, tiny bit more, but not really a noticeable amount. But check that out. That's pretty much what the rest of this car can and will look like it's with so mods. Mad. It's crazy. So just to think, this was looking old and tired in terms of paintwork 
and now it's looking pretty fresh. Feels mint. Oh, like, yeah. like glass. Like amazing. Glass. We ended up using we ended up using Ultra Compound 105, and we were going straight from that straight to um, V38. Yes. On the storage roof. On the storage roof. We went from 105 Maguire's, which is a 1200 cut, straight to 38 as a final polish. We kind of found that that was like good enough. Good enough for us, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, we're not trying to win anything, are we? So. No, so good. Totally shocked with the results. So sick. That is mind bogglingly good, yeah, isn't it? It smells real good too. Yeah, as a final polish, it breaks down and goes almost like petrol in the end, doesn't yeah. it? So there's more than a million things that are going to happen to this car. I hope you've enjoyed the drift car reveal. This is over. This is mind blowing to me as well that I've now got a drift car and I'm entering the rear wheel drive world. The MX-5 seems sick, absolutely buzz off it. I've been watching videos in the background, going all the pages, looking at all the cars, all the mods, learning a bit about it. Just blows me away, it's so sick. I'm so hyped to be involved in it. And yeah, let me know in the comments below if you've got any sick ideas, car ideas, car build ideas, car mod ideas, any ideas at all, bike related content, DIY related content, garage ideas, and I'll get involved in the comments below. Thanks for watching today's video. Don't forget, check out Owner. Link is in the description. You get a free snapback cap with every single Owner order. Just add your favourite cap to your basket when you're making your order and it'll be deducted to zero. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.